Welcome, 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 my dear brothers and sisters, my beloved wife, Mahin. I'm happy to see everybody. I'm honored to be in your presence. Today, we're going to be talking about Power Sugar and Sweet Day. Power Sugar adds to our power and endurance, and Sweet Day acts more as anti-microbe capacity in terms of fighting off bacteria, fungus, virus, yeast. So the two types of sugars that we'll be discussing. I have a patent on the sugar that have the same components, but in the power sugar, there's more D-ribose, which is a tremendous energizer for the heart. And in the sweet day, there's more xylitol, which helps reduce cavities and to reduce ear and throat infections. Now the sugars can be put into various foods, which we have here, and Pamela Young will be talking to us about some of the things that she prepared, delicious, delicious foods. They can also be taken straight out of the package. I like it very much. <clears throat> and the good news is, if someone's diabetic, they don't have to worry about increasing their glucose levels. This is diabetic friendly. It goes through a different metabolic pathway and it's delicious and there's no aftertaste. It's totally natural. Right out of the package. I have a sweet tooth. I love it. And this takes care of it. And by doing this, I feel like I'm doing myself a favor. I'm not only satisfying my sweet tooth, but I'm contributing towards better oral health in terms of reducing my cavities, and reducing the likelihood of ear and throat infections. So I have a good feeling when I'm taking this. So that's, well, this was the power sugar, which also has the xylitol in it, which has those powers over the microbes. Well, then we have the, we also have the sweet day, which has more xylitol in it. Now, the sweet day with the more xylitol, again, has these tremendous, a tremendous taste and the power to prevent infections and cavities. So what feeling should you have when you're eating this? The feeling you have is good. You feel good. You feel energized just by the sweetness. Every living creature, every animal craves the sweetness. We need that to survive. But this will not give an insulin surge will not raise the glucose level, the fasting glucose level, and energizes the heart. Now in the power sugar, I'm a world champion power athlete. Before I said, it was about six weeks ago, I'm, I'm near 70 now, and about six weeks ago, I took the power sugar and did a power shrug with 480 pounds, shrugging up with a barbell, pulled up 480 pounds. Using my before I before I did the lift, power sugar to strengthen myself. Then about two weeks ago, I took my power sugar before I did another feat of strength. I was sitting on the ground with a chain attached to an F-150 Ford pickup truck filled with 16 people, and I pulled the truck the full distance of the chain. Again, using my power thoughts to get the correct attitude because half of it's mental and then hard training along with then power sugar to increase my power. It's known to increase both power and endurance. Every athlete should be taking power sugar and every, anybody who's concerned about their heart health should be taking power sugar. The awesome four for the heart are D-ribose, which is in the power sugar, L-carnitine, magnesium, and coenzyme Q10. Dr. Sinatra, the leading cardiologist in alternative medicine, calls those the awesome four. And D-ribose is a key component there. So if you want that power and you want that energy, power sugar is the way to go. If you want to reduce your cavities, you want to reduce throat and ear infections, sweet day is the way to go. Now, at this point, I want to introduce our distinguished guest, Pamela Younger who's a chef, who's one of the, the great experts on how to work with Power Sugar and Sweet Day. Pamela, welcome. Thank you, Dr. 
So what, now let's see what we have here today. I have to point yeah. out something. I'm yeah. very excited. Yeah. I don't know if you've noticed or not, but early on when we were working with the uh, sugars and our baking and this and that, that I was unable to achieve caramelization. If you remember, right. it just it wouldn't take the temperature. I want you guys to notice we reached caramelization even though it was slow in the oven. We were able to achieve that on these baked goods, so I'm very excited about that. Um, you can get that gooey, gooey, rich sensation with your baked goods, and uh, we can play with that a little more, but it is achievable. Now, this is why I say she's the leading expert on how to work the ovens. So tell us the technique that you had to do to get the caramelization using power sugar. What did you have to do? What oven this did you This was actually use? achieved in the oven, okay? On was it these, a gas uh, stove? It was. It was a gas, gas oven, and it was oven. actually at 350. 350 degrees. So 350 degrees. Uh, we did the pastry shells for uh, basically an, let's say, just miniature apple pies. It's like an apple danish. Uh, we did the pastries, and then we filled it with the uh, apples and cinnamon and the, um, the um, power sugar combination with the cinnamon and the uh, de ribos. Uh, we also had just a little bit of uh, natural, all natural orange juice and uh, sauteed that a little bit, put that in the uh, shells, topped it with um, oats, a combination of oats, cinnamon, power sugar, and uh, just a tad of uh, cornstarch. And uh, instead of using butter, we used coconut oil. And that was the crumb topping we sprinkled over it. So that's how we achieved. Those, com those components is exactly how we achieved the uh, caramelization stage because it was a slow temperature process. Now, Pamela has learned how to work the ovens. She's used confectionery ovens, talked about electric stoves, and the gas oven. And you found the gas oven was the best to work with. Yes. Is that correct? It is. Yeah. It is. Now, I'm going to. Please, have I'm some. I'm going to take See a taste here. So, so the gooey. So, I'm going to take a bite of this. <laughs> So it has, tell me, is, 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 no is, cream, is there any that. cream in there? No. Nope. Uh, nothing? Nope. Okay. There's fruit, power sugar, mm. oats, coconut oil, cinnamon, a wow. little bit of uh, natural squoze orange juice. Texture is great. Flour. Is it chewy? It's chewy. It's gooey? So just, just around, just around <laughs> enough of gooeyness. Good. Mmm. But the texture of all the components in there is excellent. Good. Mmm. That was very exciting to wow, see. Wow, it's you have some apples in there? Apples are in it's there. It's like an apple pie. Mm -hmm. That's superb. It is. Absolutely superb. And then here, uh, we did a custard where we were able to achieve the satin finish on the custard. We topped it off with the omega-3 uh, blend of nuts and the uh, dark chocolate, uh, as well as with the uh, power sugar, and made like a crumb to go on the top of that. And um, this is an almond custard. An so almond it's a custard. non-dairy. Non-dairy. Mm -hmm. So you have chocolate. Mm -hmm. And the chocolate's just the is cocoa. that mm -hmm. it's cocoa. Dark cocoa. Because I like the cocoa right. a lot. Then you have the uh, <clears throat> then it was the baker's chocolate was the other one you've That's used. That's correct. Pam has done a great job in the past. We had protein uh, candies, uh, which, were, which had the protein in it, and the power sugar. So we call them pro protein power bars. Oh, this is looks great. <laughs> mm -hmm. It should be really mm. rich. <laughs> wow. Wow. Look, everything goes together perfectly. Your chocolate, the, the almond, was that almond paste? No, that's almond, uh, that was almond milk. Mmm. Almond mm. milk. That is, what a treat.